afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to Sheboygan County Christian High School, where today the Sheboygan County Christian High School plays host to Sheboygan Area Lutheran. We are now going to meet the starting lineups for both Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles and for the Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders. Starting at for the Crusaders is 6'3 senior Alex Maxson. A sophomore, number 11, Dan Salsenbrenner. Number 12, a junior, Zach Brost, standing six feet tall. A senior, Nick Miller, number 22, is 6'2", and filling out the starting lineup for Lutheran is Ryan Johansson, a junior, standing at 6 feet. Crusaders are coached by Mr. Todd Decker. They come in with an re overall record of 6-9 and nine and a conference record of 5-6. and six. Now let's meet the starters for Sheboygan County Christian High. At a guard, number 11, Nate Klopatic, a senior, 5'8". Another senior, 6'1", Brandon Simmons. Lee Velkamp, a sophomore at 6'2", is your third starter. Joe Westerbeek, a 6'2 senior, is be also playing at the guard position. And the second sophomore for Sheboygan County Christian High School is Joe Meerdink, number 32. He stands at 6'5. The Eagles are coached by Brett Flipsey. No one knows what to expect when these two teams meet. There is a strong rivalry between these teams. And so we're looking forward to a good game today. Jumping center for the Eagles. Jumping center for the Eagles is the sophomore, 6'5", Joel. Meerdink and for the Crusaders is the senior Alex Maxson. The Eagles win the tip, ball in the hands of Klopatic, he brings it up over the timeline, over to the left to Westerbeck, into Simmons, step out by Meerdink. Meerdink held up there, Klopatic on the right hand side to Lee Velkamp. Velkamp to Meerdink. Meerdink sets for a three, shoots, no good. Number 11, Salzenbrenner comes down with the rebound to Maxson. Down to 12 for a shot and a foul. The basket is good. And Zachary Brost is at the line. That foul, I believe, was on Number 14, Lee Veldkamp. And Brost makes the free throw. Crusaders are up three to nothing. Full court press into the into Lee Veldkamp, down to Simmons, down the left hand side, over to Meerdink, and for an easy layup. Over to number 11, Dan Sulzenbrenner. Inside to number 12 for a shot, and he sinks it. Nice, nice little bunny shot there by Brost. Full court pressure again. Over to Klopatic, back to Velkamp, back to Klopatic. Down to Simmons, down the left hand side. He comes to the middle, feeds Meerdink again, and an easy layup for Joe Meerdink. Scores five to four, Crusaders. Pressure by Klopatic on number 11, Salsenbrenner. Salsenbrenner dribbles the ball off of his foot. The ball goes to the Eagles. Nate Klopatic brings it up. Crusaders have taken off the press. Down to the right side over to Simmons. Simmons looking over the field, over to Meerdink. Meerdink right down the lane and in for another layup. Meerdink has come out and scored the six straight points for the Eagles. 
and the score is now 6-5. to five. Pressure by Klopatic, steal by Westerbeek to Klopatic for a layup and two points for Klopatic. Ball's inbounded to number 11, Salsenbrenner. Guarded by Klopatic, right over the timeline, pressure. Over to Maxson, Maxson squares up, shoots, and it's a two, his toe was on the line. Nate Klopatic brings the ball up. Again, some token defense by the Crusaders. Again, over to the right-hand side to Simmons. Velkamp pops for a three at the top of the key and scores. Assist from Simmons. Velkamp with a three. Quickly down court to number 22. 22, Nick Mueller shoots. And Joe Mearden comes down with a rebound. 24 taps it away. Ryan Johansson. And it goes off of the Crusaders. Eagle ball. Paddock brings the ball up court, just crossing the timeline, over to Simmons. Velkamp pops again for a three, shoots, misses, Mearning grabs the rebound, and he is fouled. Fouls on number 11, Dan Salzenbrenner. His first and the team's first. Joe Mearning is at the line to shoot two. He makes the first. Joe Mearning's been a wonderful addition to the Christian High Eagles this past season. Uh, he is a sophomore, making making his his first start at the varsity level, and has been doing a great job. He eyes up the second shot, misses. Johansson boxes out well, but can't get to the ball, and it goes out of bound. Crusader ball. Brost inbounds over to. Salsenbrenner, he brings it up to the middle, guarded by Klopatic. Trying to get it over to Maxson, Maxson has it. Pick and roll, West tipped by Simmons, stolen by Westerbeek. Push up the floor, bounce pass to Mierdink that goes out of his reach and over to the Crusaders. Bros to inbound the ball. Inbounds to number 22, Nick Miller, and back to Brost who brings it up the court. Over to Salsenbrenner, to Johansson. Lutheran running their offense. Maxson squares up and buries a nice three. Maxson is a great shooter and a good scorer for Lutheran, their leading scorer. Lutheran in his zone now. Paddock over to Velkamp for a three. Nope, his foot was on the line, he scores a two. It's in back over to Salsenbrenner who gives it up over to Brost. Brost down the right hand side, pressured by Velkamp. Velkamp tips it out and goes over to the Crusaders. Lutheran setting up their out of bounds play. Johansson spins off, of, goes to the basket. Having a little trouble getting it in. Pressure by Klopatic. Klopatic makes the steal in the backcourt over to Velkamp for an easy layup. Eagles leading right now 16 to 9. Maxson tries to push it up over to Brost. Out of his reach, turnover Eagles. Todd Decker for the Lutheran coach is now looking to call a timeout. Timeout with 4-11. And the score, Sheboygan County Christian High 16. Sheboygan Area Lutheran 9. Message of the day, tanning beds are for losers. Their UV rays can be up to 15 times stronger than the sun. They can increase your risk for cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. Tanning can cause ugly wrinkles and age spots and can ruin your skin. Overexposure to UV rays is the leading cause of skin cancer. Be safe, don't go there. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Anyone who uses a tanning bed is an idiot. So get a life or you could lose it get his feet set and ends up traveling. Crusader ball. We have another substitute, number four, Brian Bagalki, coming in for Alex Maxson. Number 22, Nick Mueller in bounds over to Bagalki, who brings it up against Joe Westerbeek to the right-hand side. Right 
Zach Brose went baseline and was tipped off an Eagle player and Crusader ball underneath their basket with 12 seconds left here in the first quarter. Nick Mueller inbounds over to number 12. It's tipped by Joe Westerbeek. Gonna stay a Crusader ball. Nick Mueller to inbound it. Guarded by Zach Jensma. Having a little trouble getting it in, but he gets it into Bogalki. Almost an over and back, but no call. 22, penetrating. Brost squares up for the three and buries it at the buzzer. Buries it at the buzzer. And the score after one quarter is Sheboygan County Christian High 25, Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders 19. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Oh dear, I can't afford that. Charge it. You can pay it off later. Not so fast, credit card guy. Savings man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, savings man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at choosetosave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, savings man. No, thank you. So visit choosetosave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. Frozen peas. Respected member of our community for years. Determined to always do just the right thing. Committed to support the growth of our children. And effective at lowering bad cholesterol. Frozen peas. Courage. Integrity. Fresh ideas. This message paid for by the friends of frozen peas. If you're not voting, then who are you electing? All right, we're back here ready to start the second quarter. Lutheran's ball, they'll be inbounding. Going to our left. Nick Mueller inbounding. Into Zach Brost. Dubois giving him a problem. Oh, an over and back call. Over and back. Went off a of Brost and a Lutheran player, Dan Sultzenbrenner, was the first to pick it up. And the referee is explaining to Coach Decker that it, what the call was and how he saw it. Coach Decker obviously doesn't agree, but it's Eagles ball. Joe Westerbeek inbounds into Dubois, back to Westerbeek, over to Mirnik in the corner, quickly over to Klopatic for a three on the right hand side, squares it up and buries it. Beautiful shot. Brost into Maxson. Maxson dishes down to number 21 who goes hard to the basket. Parker Anderson scores the basket and is fouled by Joel Westerbeek. And he will be shooting one free throw here. It's a nice strong move. Great finish. Parker Anderson eyes it up, shoots free throw, rattles it in. We have a sub coming in. Zach Jensma is coming in for Matt Sizemore. First name. Harrison Field. And now the Eagles are inbounding. Balls into their Eagle point guard, Nate Klopatic. Carl Dubois swings in over to the left-hand side by Joe Westerbeek. Lutheran trying to trap. Pops it out to Nate. Nate fakes. Zach Jensma squares it up, lets it fly, and Kyle Dubois gets the rebound, but then followed by Joel Meerdink, who puts it back in. Number, number 12, Zach Brost is fouled by Nathan Klopatic as the Eagles try to put pressure after scoring that last basket. Nick Mueller inbounding with some pressure by Joe Westerbeek over to number 21, Parker Anderson, back to Mueller, over to Maxson, back to Anderson, down the middle to number 12, and there's a foul called. Dubois thought he was there in time, but it's going to be a blocking call against Carl Dubois. He fouled Zach Brost. That is Carl's second foul. The Eagles' sixteen foul and Maxson inbounds underneath the Lutheran basket out to Parker Anderson. 
Parker Anderson tries to go back to Maxim, but it's stolen by Dubois, and Klopatic brings it up the court over to Dubois. Over to Westerbeek, who squares up in the corner for a three, lets it go, doesn't get it. Dubois tips it back to Westerbeek, dumps it inside to Mearding. A block and a jump ball by Parker Anderson. Jump ball. It was a nice block on the big Christian kid. And, but it's Eagles ball in alternate possession. Westerbeek to inbound. Eagles run their play. They end up throwing it out to Dubois over to Klopatic at center court. He dribbles to the right. Over to Dubois. Cut through by Westerbeek. And he had a chance at a layup and Maxson fouled him going up for the shot. Alex Maxson picks up the foul. That's Alex's first. The Lutheran team fouls are at four. And Joe Westerbeek now at the line to shoot two. Joe eyes it up. Hits the first. Shoots the second and miss, rims that one out. Nick Mueller gets the rebound. Eagles up 31 to 22 with about six and a half minutes left in this qu quarter. Maxson takes a shot and is fouled. It'll be interesting to see who the foul is on. It's either on Meerdink or Westerbeek. It is on Joe Meerdink. That is Meerdink's first. The Eagles six team foul and it's a shooting foul. So Alex Maxson will be at the line shooting two. He misses the first. We have some subs coming in. Luke Weir and Brandon Simmons for the Eagles. Carl Dubois and Joe Westerbeek are out. And Alex Maxson is getting ready to shoot his second free throw. He makes the second. Klopatic eyeing up the situation. There's some token pressure, man-to-man -man pressure. They get it into the middle to Westerbeek, but Westerbeek makes an Aaron pass, or uh, I'm sorry, Meerdink makes an Aaron pass, and it goes off of the Eagles to the Crusaders. Nick Miller inbounding over to number 11, Salson Brenner, who dribbles up against Klopatic. Eagles in a tough man-to-man -to -man defense making it difficult for them to find it in the middle. Meerdink on the floor, grabbing the ball. He gets the steal. Over to Simmons, over to Weir, who's got a layup, and good. <laughs> Salson Brenner over to Maxson. Maxson eyes it up, acts to Salson Brenner. He surveys it and is looking at the right-hand side. Klopatic putting some pressure on and then forces Salson Brenner to travel. We have some subs coming in. Number 33, Dylan Usadel, a sophomore. And number one, we did get his name, is Harrison Dell for the Crusaders. Klopatic dribbles over half court, over to Zach Jensma, who just came into the game, over to Luke Weir. Mearding posting up hard, looking for and calling for the ball, but doesn't get it. Over to Jensma, back to Klopatic. Dump in lob to Meerdink. Meerdink uses the other side of the basket and finishes with a nice little easy shot. Eagles up 35 to 23 with five minutes and 15 seconds. Dell is dribbling the ball over to Nick Mueller. Mueller dribbling over back to Dell. Luke Weir closely guarding. Maxson goes the back door, gets caught up in traffic by Simmons and throws the ball away, goes over to the Eagles. Checking in for the Crusaders is number 24, Ryan Johansson. Parker Anderson coming out and checking in for the Eagles is number 14, Lee Veltkamp and Zach Jensma checks out of the game for the Eagles. Eagle ball, Klopatic dribbling up the floor, gets over Half court and dumps it at the high post to Simmons. Mearding posting hard, but gets double teamed, tipped away, but Velkamp comes up with it. Velkamp to the basket, leaves it for Mearding, blocked by Maxson. Mearding back up, back up again and finishes the basket. Nice block by Maxson. Ooh, 
terrible collision between Mirdink and Maxson over here on the left hand side and we are going to get a foul out of this. It looks like the foul is going to be on Joe Mirdink. There seems to be some confusion. Mirdink looks a little dazed. He's holding his head. Maxson stays out on the floor, but Mirdink has been substituted by number 31, Matt Sizemore. 6-3 junior for the Eagles. Maxson is at the line shooting a bonus shot, a one and one after that foul. He shoots and scores the first one making the score 37 to 24 the Eagles with about four and a half minutes left in this game or in this half I'm sorry. Maxson shoots the second and scores. Weir inbounds to Klopatic. Lutheran drops back and is going man to man. Klopatic calls out the play over to Weir on the left hand side. Weir eyes it up to Simmons, cuts through Simmons, just goes back door or a baseline over to Velkamp who takes a shot, misses, Maxson comes away with it and pushes it up the floor. Guarded by Sizemore, reverses direction, steps back near the three line. It's a two though, but scores, making the score 37 to 25. Klopatic looking to the bench for instructions. Calls out the play over to Velkamp, over to Simmons. Sizemore posts up hard, reverses, and makes a nice little left hand shot. Beautiful entry pass and finish by Matt Sizemore. Ball goes over to Mueller, back to Dell, over to Maxson, guarded by Luke Weir. Maxson to the middle, runs into Velkamp, no charge, no foul. Eagles come away with the ball, over to Velkamp, guarded by Johansson, who is undercut or bodied, not really undercut, but bodied by Johansson and picks up the foul. That was quite the flurry of action there. That is Johansson's second foul. Lutheran's fifth team. And Maxson comes out and in for the, into the Lutheran lineup is Zach Brost. Lee Velkamp to inbound underneath the Christian basket. He fires it out to Weir, telling the Velkamp back inside to Matt Sizemore. Nice little dump pass, and Coach Decker is not happy. He calls timeout with 3.20 left in the second period, with Christian leading 41 to 27. The way I see this game playing out so far is that Lutheran's having a hard time handling Christian's big guys. Joe Meerdink and Matt Sizemore are, are just pretty much almost scoring at will inside. They're not contested at all. Um, Christian Eagles also have gotten some good outside shooting from guys like Lee Veldkamp. And so, so far it's been pretty much a one-sided ball game uh, Christian's been dominating this game and leads with 320 left in the hat, half with a score of 41 to 27. Coming out for the Eagles is Matt Sizemore, Brandon Simmons, Nate Klopatic and Luke Weir and Lee Veldkamp. Out for the Lutheran team is Ryan Johansson, uh, number 33 Dylan Usadel. Ball's put into Usadel over to Harrison Dell and over to Nick Mueller who shoots and there is a foul and I don't th think it had to do with the shot it was a foul by Matt Sizemore under the basket as he was trying to box out and so that puts Dylan Usadel at the line shooting a bonus He makes the first one and now gets the bonus shot. 
Some substitutions. Carl Dubois is coming in for Nate Klepatic, and Joe Westerbay comes in for Luke Weir for the Eagles. Dylan Usadel, a sophomore, shoots his second one and makes it. Lee Velkamp inbounds to Carl Dubois, who is now running the offense for the Christian High Eagles. He dribbles down the right-hand side, guarded by Nelson Dell. Over to Simmons. Over to Velkamp, who squares up for the three. Uncontested and scores from Brandon Simmons. Christian High has that, that offense running pretty well. Uh, Dell passes over to Usadell. Over to Johansson, back in the corner to Dell. You know, Johansson gets the rebound. He's a workhorse inside there, but Bellcamp comes away with it. Dubois dribbling with head up, looking down the court, looking for opportunities to score. Resets it, dribbles between the circles, and Christian High running a special play. Right down the middle, it's stolen. Stolen by Zach Brost, who pushes it up the court. Pass Velkamp. Shoots off the backboard, but doesn't score. And the ball went. Oh, no. The referees called a foul. This foul is going to be on. Fouls on number 12 for Christian, Brandon Simmons, and Luther now is in the double bonus. Zach Bros to shoot two, he makes the first. With two minutes and 14 seconds left in the half, Christian's still leading 44 to 30. Bros makes the second. Carl Duak bringing the ball up over to Simmons, who almost has it tipped away over to Velkamp on the left-hand side, scores up the shoot. Dylan Usadel comes down with a rebound over to number 22, Nick Mueller. Over to Dell, who shoots the three, misses. Velkamp with the rebound, pushes it up the floor. Pressured by Brost, all the way down to Sizemore. Uncontested, little bunny. Nice dish off by Veldkamp. Dell over to Brost, who tacks the middle, lets the shot go, and scores. A nice little jump shot by Zach Brooks. Dubois taking a look at the situation. Heads over to the right-hand side, crosses over to the left, over to Westerbeck, into Velkamp. They run a wheel around Sizemore, who steps out for ball reversal. Over to Westerbeck, who middle of the court, down the left-hand side of the lane, shoots, shoots a nice little right-hand floater and scores. Brost attacks, Dubois steals and pushes it up against Dell, crosses over, doesn't know where to go, gets caught up in the air, and the referee calls a foul. Substitutions at this time. Number 23, Josh Kosinskis comes in for the Crusaders, and Marshall Vervelli comes in for the Eagles for Lee Veldkamp. Crusader ball, Zach Brost dribbles up, guarded closely by Joe Westerbeck attacks the right hand side to Joe Hansen over to Mueller. Mueller takes a shot and scores a two. With 45 seconds left in the half, the Eagles are up 48 to 35. Dubois over the timeline to the right hand side over to Rivaldi. He surveys the situation, pop out by Sizemore. Sizemore looking for ball reversal, brings it back to Westerbeck. Westerbeck attacking the middle, bobbles it a second. Oh, and they call an offensive foul. Johansson did a nice job of pressuring Joe Westerbeck, and Joe trying to create some space, lowered his shoulder and put it right under the chin of Johansson. I don't know that he felt that, but Westerbeck picks up his second foul because it was a player control foul. Luther will not be shooting. Brost attacks, stolen by Dubois, who's pushing it up the left-hand side down the middle and attacks it from the right hand and puts in the layup. Kosinskis back to Dell, over to Mueller, over to Brost. Brost looking to attack, fires up a wild shot. Kosinskis puts it up, can't make it. Sizemore tapping it around. Johansson fighting, putting it back up for the Crusaders at the buzzer. Great hustle by the Crusaders right before the end of the half here, making it the score 50 to 37. Christian High Eagles. Crusaders showed some 
so showed some moxie there at the end. They're not giving up. And as they head into the locker room, the Christian Eye Eagles lead the Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders 50 to 37. Forget about those abs and glutes. It's your eyes people notice. You need the eye gym. Just slip it on and the eye gym does the rest. Taking care of your eyes is no joke. In fact, one in three Americans over 40 has a vision problem. An eye exam can spot the early signs of vision threatening conditions like glaucoma and other serious health problems like diabetes and high blood pressure. Do not fool with your eyes. If you're over 40, remember, an eye doctor can see things you can't. A public service message from the Vision Council of America and AARP. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learnandserve.gov to find out how. We welcome you back for the second half of the Christian High Sheboygan Area Lutheran game. Uh, at halftime, the score is Sheboygan County Christian 50, Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders 37. Coming out to start for the Lutheran High Crusaders is number three, Alex Maxson, number 12, Zach Brost, number 11, Dan Salsenbrenner, number 22, Nick Mueller, number 24, Roy, Ryan Johansson. For the Eagles, number 23, Zach Jensma is getting the start at half. Nate Klepatic guarding Salsenbrenner right now, guarded by Joe Westerbake. Over to Johansson, guarded by Brandon Simmons. Inside to number 12, Zach Brose with a nice little bank shot off the glass, and Lutheran is on the board with their first possession. Nate Klepatic dribbles up. Guarded by Salsenbrenner. Over to Zach Jensma. Put the ball over his head. Reversed over to Velkamp. Over to Simmons. Set a screen for Westerbeek, who attacks on the left hand side. Over to Klepatic, who goes right down the middle and lays it up short. Alex Maxson with the rebound. Over to Mueller. Back to Maxson. Picked up by Westerbeek, over to Mueller again. Jensma guarding him. Down into the corner by number 12, Brost. Into the middle to Johansson, who get, drops a nice little bounce pass. Back door reverse by Zach Brost. Beautiful play by the Lutheran Crusaders on that one. Johansson, nice little dump bounce pass. We're back at the top to Westerbeek, over into the corner to Lee Veldkamp. And Klepatic makes a Nice cut down the lane, gets the ball from Velkamp and scores. Dan Sultzenbrenner brings the ball up against Lee Velkamp. Velkamp hinders his dribble inside over to number 11, Sultzenbrenner, who is fouled by number 11 for the Eagles, Nate Klepatic. That is Nate Klepatic's second foul, the Eagles' first team foul of the half. And Salsenbrenner was shooting, so he will shoot two. First one rattles in and out, leaving Salsenbrenner disgusted. He toes the line, takes his dribbles, eyes it up, and rattles the second free throw in. Nate Klepatic bringing the ball up the floor, tacks towards the middle, dribbles between the rings, over to the right-hand side to Jensma. Jensma looking for cutters. Simmons pops out, attacks the left-hand side. He's looking for somebody. Klepatic comes clear. They're back in the corner to Veldkamp. No post position. Klepatic settles things down over to Jensma. Jensma squares it up, but decides better of it. Back to Klepatic, over to Velkamp, inside to Simmons. Simmons up strong, short with that one. Tapped out, though, and Westerbeek gets it. Westerbeek tries a flip behind his head over to Simmons, but doesn't work. Velkamp takes it for Maxson, who scores easily on a layup. Back to Maxson, and 
over to Brost. Brost down in the corner to Mueller. Mueller inside to Johansson who spins to the left, kicks it back out to to Salsenbrenner, back to Salsenbrenner in the middle, nice little bounce pass, but Simmons anticipates, looks, Belkamp with a one-hand pass, up the floor to Klopatic, who finishes with a layup. Eagles leading 56-42 with about five minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Salsenbrenner up at the top, guarded by Klopatic as Lutheran sets its offense. Down in the corner to Mueller, guarded by Jensma. Maxson cuts down baseline, but nowhere to go. Jensma guarding closely, stolen by Klopatic. Crusaders turn the ball over again. Klopatic spins, tries to get it off, and it was partially blocked. Westerbake comes over the top and tips it out of bounds. It is Crusader ball. After all that flurry, Carl Dubois, the foreign exchange student for Christian High, comes into the game. Carl's from Belgium and has made a nice contribution to this Eagle team. Salsenbrenner dribbling up, guarded closely by Klopatic, tries to go back door. Salsenbrenner's feeling a little frustrated, the sophomore for Lutheran. Klopatic, the senior, is doing a nice job with defending him, but the Crusaders take the ball out on the side court. Mueller to inbound, over to Salsenbrenner. Again guarded by Klopatic, dribbles to the left. Switched over to Bois, guarding him now. Maxson pops, guarded by Velkamp. Gets some help from Dubois. Lutheran posting up by Miller against Zen Jensma, but Simmons digs it out with help. Dubois back to Kopatic and a nice finish with a layup. Lutheran quickly inbounds, brings it up to Mueller, but Coach Decker calls a timeout, slowing down the Lutheran break or semi break. With four minutes and 16 seconds left, Sheboygan County Christian High leads. Sheboygan area Lutheran by the score of 58 to 42. I think with this timeout, Coach Decker is looking to get them settled down just a little bit. I think he's a little frustrated with the amount of turnovers that they have given to the Eagles and the easy baskets that the Eagles have gotten. He needs to settle his team down and get them in a half court offense to get a basket here and to keep this to keep this game within their reach. Um, Lutheran can't afford too many more too many more turnovers which lead to the easy baskets that Christian Christian High has gotten. Uh, into the game for the Eagles is Matt Sizemore. Uh, Zach Jensma is out of the game at this point and the Crusaders inbound underneath their basket. Mueller to flip it out to Johansson between the circles. He's looking for a guard to give it to. Attacks to the right. He's guarded by Sizemore. Dubois is guarding Brost who puts up a shot and rebounded by Sizemore over to Velkamp. Velkamp to the side to to Klopatic, Klopatic into Simmons, Simmons out to Dubois who squares and fires and Simmons has the ball taken over his head on the rebound and a Crusader foul on Harrison Dell. Eagle ball underneath their basket with Lee Velkamp to inbound. He calls out the play, oh we have a substitution. Number 23, Josh Kosinskis is coming into the game for Johansson. Lee bounces it off the back of the Lutheran player, Maxson, grabs the ball, tries to put it back up, couldn't get it, shoots the, and gets the rebound, kicks it out to Klopatic for a three. Lutheran pushing the ball up to Maxson, Maxson attacks the middle, he's got his head down and goes to the basket and lays in a nice little layup to counter that last three by the Eagles. Dubois dribbling up between the circles, gives it over to Velkamp on the left-hand side, back to Dubois in the corner to Klopatic, to Dubois, to Velkamp. And back to Klopatic at the top where they set the offense. Over into the corner to Lee Velkamp. Sizemore posting up strong. Decides better of it. And makes an errant pass that was tipped off of Lutheran. 
off of a Lutheran player, according to the referee. All the Eagles and everybody else thought it was, including Coach Decker, who disagrees with it, but fell camped inbound to Klopatic. Klopatic dribbling over the timeline, dribbling between the circles, calling out the play. Fell camp pops out, doesn't pop out hard enough. Eagles looking a little sloppy right now, and they turn the ball over to the Crusaders. Nick Mueller to inbound the ball. Little token pressure on Harrison Dell by Nate Klopatic. Dell tries to cross it over. Klopatic reads the crossover, makes a nice steal, and Dell has nothing to do but to foul Klopatic. The foul on Harrison Dell. His first, the Lutheran Crusaders' second team foul. Simmons to inbound at the half court line. Velkamp pops out under, along the baseline into Sizemore. Sim, oh, and Velkamp goes back door and is bumped by Josh Kosinskis, who picks up the foul. That's Josh's first, the Crusaders' third team, and Lee Velkamp was shooting and will shoot two free throws. Belkamp rattles in the first free throw, making the score 52 to 44. Christian, with two minutes and 48 seconds here left in the third quarter. There were some substitutions made at that time, and Belkamp squares up the second one and scores, making it 53-44. Lutheran to inbound, Bros pushing up quickly to Skasinskis over to. Mueller over to Maxson, Maxson to Bros, Bros down the lane, puts up a shot, misses, but is fouled by the junior, Matt Sizemore. His second personal foul, Christian team foul two, and Zach Bros, the junior, puts in the first free throw. Doesn't take a lot of time at the line, shoots the ball and scores the second one. Felkamp inbounds to Klopatic. Klopatic giving instructions to his team, taking the time for them to set up over to Carl Dubois on the left hand side, back over to Klopatic on the right, back to Dubois at the top. Bones passes down to Simmons, close out by Maxson who defends him. Klopatic in close but leaves it terribly short. Maxson comes out of it and fires a long errant pass down to Zach Brost and the Crusaders turn the ball over. We have a substitution at this time. Coming into the Eagle lineup is junior Zach Jensma. Jensma is a 6'5 junior for the Eagles who has had some problems with his ankle but has really responded well this last half of the Eagles season and has played pretty well. He's a he's definitely a three-point threat for the Eagles. Velkamp over to Dubois, back over to Velkamp as they try to stretch the Crusader zone. Luke Weir into the game along the baseline. Hits a nice little baseline shot for the Eagles. And back down court comes Maxson over to Brost. Back over to Mueller in the corner to Maxson as they try to run a play for Maxson. Over to Mueller. Mueller blocked by Dubois, Maxson gets the ball, attacks, leaves it short. Velkamp with a rebound. Velkamp looking to push but decides better of it and brings it up over the timeline to Dubois. Dubois attacks over into the middle high post to Sizemore to De Velkamp to Dubois into Sizemore. And Velkamp calling it out. Now they're running a play. Crusaders went into man to man. Sizemore steps out, trying to reverse it to the left hand side over to Velkamp. Sets a pick and roll for Velkamp right at the free throw line. Leaves it long. A lot of bodies flying all over the place. And Kosinskis comes out with it. And Vel. Oh, no. Stepped out of bounds over here on the side. Giving the ball back to the Eagles. We have a sub coming in. The senior. Number 21, Joe Westerbake, comes in for Matt Sizemore. Moving the tall, lanky Jensma into the high post. And Lutheran has a sub coming in. Number 33, Zach, or Dylan Usadel, 
and going out was number 12, Zach Brost. Dubois between the circles, goes to the left-hand side. Belkamp out at the three, trying to fight off Kaczynskis. He attacks and down into the corner is Dubois, who lets it fly. Hits the side of the backboard, gets his own rebound, attacks on the right-hand side, but leaves better for... Westerbeek as Coach Flipsy gets them settled down and running a decent play. Luke Weir looking to attack out to Jensma. There's Velkamp on the right hand side just being bodied by Kaczynskis. Dubois squaring up at the three, thinks better of it, gives it to Velkamp and the referees finally call a foul on Josh Kaczynskis who is just bodying Lee Velkamp all over the place and playing good solid man defense. Into the Crusader lineup comes number 15, Eric Backhouse, Backhouse and out comes 12, Zach Brost. Westerbeek in the corner over to Velkamp for a three. He's off the mark and Luke Weir in his haste to get a rebound climbs the back of Dylan Usadel. Foul on Luke Weir. That's his first Eagles third team foul. And the Crusaders bring the ball up the court. Maxson directing the offense at this point over to Usadel. Usadel dribbles to the left, guarded by Jensma. Out to Maxson at the high top of the key, guarded by Velkamp. He dropped, stopped his dribble. Usadel goes back door, back inside to Parker Anderson, over to 15, blocked by Velkamp. And then Velkamp tries to tip pass over to Westerbeek as time runs out. Joe Westerbeck is unable to get the ball into the basket after Carl Dubois made a great hustle play to tap it over to Westerbeck, but there just wasn't enough time. That brings an end to the third quarter with the score. The Christian High Eagles 55 and the Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders 46. Is how you're feeling inside keeping you from going outside? If chronic diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, or rectal bleeding are tying you to the bathroom, maybe it's serious, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. See a gastroenterologist. Early diagnosis can make treatment easier. Get on with your life. Get help. Get better. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. Dignity, hope, and one day, a cure. Contact us for a free information kit. Did you know you have the power to stop children from joining gangs? You can help a father find a job and home for his family. You can assist a woman who can't afford the medicine she needs to live and the home she can't live without. You can choose to make a difference. Support the programs that are working in our community. Contact Volunteers of America today. All right, we start the fourth quarter with the Eagles inbounding. I reported to you wrong the score at the end of the third quarter. It actually is 65-46. The Eagles are ahead. The Eagles have the ball in their possession. Luke Weir in the corner looking to attack over to Jensma. Belkamp shot fake, attacks the middle of the lane, rattles one in off the glass backboard and scores, making it 67-46 Christian High. Zach Brose dribbling up between the circle into Maxson, who shoots a fadeaway. Zach Jensma with a great box out, grabs a rebound over to Weir, leaves it for Dubois, who dribbles slowly up over half court and sets the play to Westerbeek. Westerbeek cuts through from, and then Dubois cuts through, looking for a shot, leaves it short. Maxson with a rebound, looking to push it up the floor, drops it over to Brost. Brost attacks, blocked by Dubois and Westerbeek. Now Lee Velkamp looking to attack. Finds Weir down the middle and lays it in for a nice layup for the Eagles. Zach Brose dribbling up, guarded by Dubois, over to Nick Mueller and Coach Decker for the Crusaders. Calls timeout, recognizing that he just doesn't want this to get out of hand real fast. This definitely does not have a, a 
Lutheran High, Christian High feel to it at all, playing here in the middle of Saturday afternoon in this remake game, our makeup game after it was canceled due to the weather. Um, there aren't a lot of a lot of Lutheran High fans and students here, and the Christian High fans and students are just kind of watching a Saturday afternoon game. Crusaders inbound and bring it over to Nick Mueller over here on the left hand side and they set a screen for Maxson and Parker Anderson has called for an illegal screen as Joe Westerbeek tried to get around to cover Maxson and they turned the ball over. Into the Eagle lineup is a senior for the Eagles, Marcus Lemihu, number 25, and running the offense right now is Carl Dubois for the Eagles over to Luke Weir. They make their cut through and swing it over to Jensma. Jensma keeps it on the right-hand side. Westerbeek attacks, can't get it. Dubois just flying through the middle, had his legs cut out from underneath him by a Lutheran player, and he fell hard to the ground. Gets up, just shakes it off, acts like there's nothing wrong and here's a gentleman from Belgium who just loves to play this game of basketball. That foul was on Kaczynskis and the Eagles inbound underneath their basket. Crusaders have 16 fouls. They inbound over to Weir, Weir over to over to Westerbeek who dumps it into Jensma who puts up a shot and leaves it short. Luke Weir rushing down the floor to try to block it and is called for the foul as Nick Mueller puts it up but was not able to score. Nick Mueller will be at the line shooting two after Luke Weir picks up his second, the Eagle fourth team foul. Shooting two for the Crusaders is Nick Mueller. First one, a line drive shot is in. Coming into the Eagle lineup is Matt Sizemore for Zach Jensma. Miller looking for a second free throw, hits it, making the score 69 to 48, Christian High. Dubois brings the ball up, dribbles between the circles, goes to the right, finds Marcus Lemihue. Marcus thinks better of dumping it inside and the ball reverses to Weir. They're looking for Sizemore who's posting up, Dubois cuts through the middle and then is fouled by Zach Brost as he was trailing the play. That's Zach Bros first. However, it is the Crusaders' seventh team foul, putting Dubois at the line, shooting a bonus. Checking into the Crusader lineup is Ryan Johansson. Um, and Dubois lines up his free throw, lets it fly, and hits the back bracket. Kaczynskis was looking to dribble down the floor, tripped over his feet and fell hard on the ball. Had the presence of mind to call a timeout so they wouldn't lose possession. And the Crusaders have taken a timeout with 5.51 left here in the fourth quarter and into this game. And the Christian High Eagles lead the game 69 to 48. I've got to believe that leaves Lutheran with one, maybe two more timeouts left in this game. And the, the Eagles have definitely have definitely dominated this game. Um, especially again, like I say, on the inside. They've been able to get in the inside and, and opened it up by hitting some threes also. It's Lutheran's ball underneath the Christian High basket. They are coming to our, from our left to the right. Ball's inbounded to Zach Bros, who is guarded by Dubois, who's trying to force him to go to his right. Sizemore with a steal, doesn't see Maxson coming behind. The big man loses the ball, but Marcus Lemmy just rips it out of there and is caught in a jump ball by Ryan Johansson. It is going to be, in essence, a turnover by the Eagles. Lutheran gets the ball. Harrison Dell is into the lineup for Zach Brost. Mueller inbounds to Dell, who is running the Crusader offense and guarded by Dubois. 
They run it into the corner to Maxson. Joe Westerbeek tips it out. Giving the ball back to the Crusaders. Miller to inbound, guarded by Luke Weir. Having a little trouble getting it in, but Maxson goes and gets it. Dribbles to his left and trips and falls. Westerbeek closely guarding Dell. Dell spins, shoots the nice little jumper floater at the free throw line, scoring for Lutheran. Westerbeek attacking on the left hand side, puts up a right hand shot, nothing but net. Didn't even use the backboard on that one. And now we are into a flurry of the game, back and forth. Mueller closely guarded by Weir. Into Maxson, closely guarded by Westerbeek. Over to Dell, Dubois trying to recover, but Westerbeek covers for him. Nelson, oh, nice shot by Harrison Dell. Hitting that shot. Over to Westerbeek, who's guarded by Maxson. Over to Dubois by Lemmyhew dumps it into Sizemore. Back to Lemmyhew. Skip pass over to Dubois, who shakes and bakes in the middle, stops, looks for Sizemore, and turns it over. And then Lutheran turns it over as Lemmyhew thought he had a dribble, which I think he did, and I think the referee did not see it correctly, but he made the call. And so Lemmyhew turns the ball over to the Crusaders. Miller to inbound again over to Dell. Dell again guarded by Dubois who forces him to the right and now it's dead. Maxson gets it over on the right wing. He surveys the situation. Bodies are just banging in the middle. Pick and rolls. Dell shoots again. Weir with a rebound over to Westerbeek. Westerbeek looks up court and pushes it. There's nothing there. It slows it down and the Eagles will run some offense. Dubois in the corner to to Weir, Weir looks inside, skips over to Lemieux, Lemieux in the corner to Westerbeek, Westerbeek into Sizemore, back out to Westerbeek. And a lazy pass by Westerbeek, turned over, but then another kind of lazy pass to Maxson, and Maxson just out hustled the Eagle players. Mueller, Miller shoots, doesn't score, and Marcus Lemieux comes down with a big rebound for Christian. Over to Dubois. Skip over to Lemmyhew. Lemmyhew looking inside to Sizemore. Sizemore sizes it up and puts off a nice little kiss off the glass and makes the score. Christian High Eagles, 73. Sheboygan Area Lutheran Crusaders, 52. Dell was bringing the ball up over midcourt and Carl Dubois poked it away and out of bounds, giving the ball over to the Crusaders. Marshall Vervelde checks in along with Eric Patron for the Eagles. And Dell gets the ball over to Johansson's fingers, back to Maxson at the three, who elevates high and scores a beautiful three for the Crusaders, making the score 73 Eagles, 55 Crusaders. Dubois over to the side to Lemieux, back to Dubois, over to Patron, in the corner to Vervelde, and Sizemore holding his ground is fouled by number 24, Ryan Johansson. That is Johansson's third. Sizemore to the line to shoot a bonus. Matt has a unique shooting approach at the line. He takes away his guide hand and lets it fly and has good rotation on it. Finishes fine and scores a point for the Eagles. He eyes up the second free throw. Let's it go and scores again for the Eagles. Into the Crusader lineup is Tyler Loney, a junior who is inbounding. There has been quite a few substitutions here by both teams, so we will try and get you caught up. Uh, number the ball's in over to the side by Maxson. Maxson looking for Miller. Miller just running over and trying to get the ball and. Crusaders were all mixed up on that play. 
Dubois dribbles in for the Eagles over the timeline. Between the circle, he attacks in the middle, dumps it out to Marshall Vervelde who lets it fly, misses Dubois with a rebound, and they're going to call a jump ball. He gets tied up by Alex Maxson, Carl Dubois does, and it is Eagle ball. Marshall Vervelde to inbound for the Eagles. He throws it in over the top to Patron. Patron eyes it up. Patron likes to shoot the three. Marcus looking into Sizemore. Sizemore finds Patron who lets it fly from three. Rattles in and out and Dell comes down with a nice rebound for the Crusaders. Pushes the ball up the floor guarded by Dubois who just kind of hand checks at him and lets him go by. Mueller into Maxson guarded by Vervelde. Dubois reaches in and gets the foul on Alex Maxson. That is Dubois's third personal foul, the Eagles fifth, and so Crusaders will be taking it out underneath the basket. Miller to inbound, he's trying to get people to move, Kosinskis gets the ball but bobbles it off his leg, and so Dell's got it, closely guarded by Dubois into Kosinskis, Maxson cuts through, there's Miller, goes right, puts it up, misses, but Loney picks it up and sh Gets the rebound, puts it up, but is short, and Eagles come away with the rebound. Over to Patron. Patron eyes up the three, but decides better of it and wants to attack, but in the process of attacking, he traveled before he put the ball on the floor. During that little timeout we had, uh, the Crusaders put up a shot, but were failed to score, and uh, Matt Sizemore just scored for the Eagles on a and a little putback bunny shot off the glass. Luther now attacking. Kosinskis in the corner, guarded by Sizemore, who he just lowers his shoulders, looking f to create some space, and Sizemore ends up picking up the foul, putting Josh Kosinskis at the line, shooting two, I believe. He rears back, lets it go, and scores the first one. We got some more subs coming in here. Eric Backus is coming in for Nick Miller, and number four, Brian McGulkey, comes in for Alex Maxson. And we have 35 seconds left here in the game. Eagles leading 77-56. Kosinskis hits his second shot, and we have another sub, number 33, Dylan Musadel, coming in for Josh Kosinskis. Carl Dubois dribbles up. Between the circles, tacks the middle, leaves it for Patron who lets the three fly and hits a pretty three shot. Eric Patron for three. And the Crusaders throw the ball away with 19 seconds left. Carl Dubois brings the ball up the floor. Tacks the right hand side against Dell, into Patron, into Sizemore. Sizemore looking for a cutting Marshall Vervelli, nothing there. Patron gives it up to Dubois who shoots a three way out. Sizemore rebounds, puts the left hand up, misses, and a rebound by Dylan Usadel. But the game comes to an end. The score of this game, Sheboygan County Christian High School 80, Sheboygan Area Lutheran 57. This is your guest commentator, Ralph Decker, here at Christian High, following the Christian High Lutheran basketball game in which Christian High Eagles pretty much dominated this game. We're standing here with two of the senior leaders of Christian High. To my left here is Nate Kopatic and to my right is Brandon Simmons. Both these players have done a wonderful job with their team this year. Nate. Looking back at this game, what do you think was the key for your success today? Uh, I think the key was just overall our whole team play. I mean, no one person like took it all on themselves. Our whole team scored the points and made beautiful passes and assists, and even our bench came through. Brandon, I know you're a good defensive player, and, and you take pride in that. Uh, did you have any problems today out there with any of their players? Uh, as a team, we could have done a better job on Maxson and Bros because they were the top two leading scorers, but we pretty much shut down the others on our team, but we needed to keep the two top players, um, better defense on them, I guess.
thank you guys. Appreciate your time and, and effort this year. Good luck to the rest of your season.